Hello everybody, this is Kevin, and today is, is Donald Trump's birthday. I don't know if you can see that, but it's Donald Trump. So, in honor of that, I thought I'd give my thoughts on Donald J. Trump, or President Trump. This one... It... Okay, this one affects me, kind of, because when I think of Donald Trump, I think of this guy that's going to probably um, do something, another bad thing that's going to probably ruin America. And I was pretty rough on Donald Trump in the, like, during the election. So, yeah, so, in my opinion, Donald Trump, isn't so bad, but he isn't so good. He's more in the middle. Because he's mostly done, like, all he's done so far is, like, stripping down, do like, uh, Obama's achievements. He's trying to take down his health. He's trying to take down Obama's, o or Obamacare, or, and, yeah. He's trying, he's, like, like, trying to repeal some bills that he did during his presidency even removing us from the Paris Accords, which I'm against. And the only achievements I can think of is opening a coal mine, but what will we really call that an achievement? All that's going to do is just kill some Americans. That's all it's going to do. And and he is travel ban. I don't, I'm not a fan of this travel ban. I don't like it. I mean, he says he's trying to protect our country from, you know, like, uh, like terrorism, like from 9-11 and such. But ironically, the, like, the terror, the hijackers from 9-11, this country, like, okay, okay, the hijackers of those planes, they were born in countries that are not in the travel ban. So, this travel ban doesn't even make sense at all. They're just countries he think will be a threat that has not threatened him at all yet. And on Twitter, he keeps boasting on, We need the travel ban! We need the travel ban! But is that really going to help us? In my opinion, no. That's not going to change anything. All it's going to do is just give you more protests. I mean, the only presidential thing I can think of is the speech in Congress and recently, today, when he uh, gave a speech about the recent shooting in Virginia. So I guess that's a few things that you can do. And also, I think his speech in the inauguration was pretty decent. But those are the only things I can think of. While the others are just... He just names other things that aren't good. I mean... You know... When the election was over, I thought we were gonna, we were, America was doomed, but I thought maybe Donald Trump will survive, surprise us all. Has he done some good things? Yes. But is he a great president? No. So far he isn't. But then again, presidents like Lincoln, like there were some presidents that we, are a that were fan of like Lincoln that were hated of their time, but now and like a hundred years later, they're well renowned. So maybe, maybe, maybe we misjudged him. Maybe we should wait for the next four years and maybe we he could be better. But uh, I think the problem many of us have with Trump is he. He does so many divisive things while I'm a fan of him for doing things that, like, doing things that other people will not be a fan of, like the NATO thing. Like, uh, I think, I mean, I honestly, while everybody, many people were against it, I'm with a few people who were like, maybe he should stand up to the NATO. I mean, he's trying to help our country, so why not try to stand up, so? I think it was very brief of him, and I actually 
I guess, agree with Trump if he's right on that. I don't, I haven't looked into the NATO thing, but yeah. But it's just Trump does do stupid things on Twitter. Like, let's say Twitter was removed. I probably would have been a bigger fan of Trump. But because he has Twitter, it's diminishing him and his administration. But I'm giving my honest feeling, even though I am, like, pro-Democrat, or I'm Democrat or something, I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna, like, really hate Trump. I'm just giving my thoughts on... I'm just, I'm just like, giving my honest opinion. Because I'm not a fan of the people, the Republicans and the Democrats, that are, like, yelling at each other. Like, there are Republicans, including Trump, that are yelling at the Democrats. They're just being like, this is the Democrats' problem. This is the Democrats' problem. The reason America is bad right now is the Democrats. We blame them. Well, the, De well, the Democrats are like, the Republicans are being haters. I mean, what is it with America now? I just wish that we could just, the parties can just get along. But all everybody's doing is just yelling at each other. I don't understand that. I'll talk all this polit- I mean, I would talk more about it, but it's supposed to be talking about Trump today. So, Trump turned 71 today, so that's my honest view on Donald Trump. When his first 100 days came, I gave him a B-. minus. My score is a C+. Plus. Because I've really thought about it with someone. Someone, like, opened my eyes more on Trump. And all he's doing so far is taking down the achievements Obama has. And he's really weakening his credibility. But he does still have some credibility. He's, n I don't know if he's one of the worst presidents. I haven't looked at that yet. So I need to know more of my history on presidents. Because the only history on presidents I know is Washington, Lincoln, Kennedy... So maybe I should look into presidents more, but I think I'm just not a fan of Trump. I'm not pro hater, but I'm not but I'm not pro Trump. I'm more in the middle. That's why I gave him a C plus. But he could he could change my mind later. Maybe maybe the change will come in a month, next week. We don't know when. But yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. What, do you, what are your thoughts on Trump? Write it down. If you like Trump, then you like Trump. It doesn't matter. You have your own reasons. If you're anti-Trump, tell me why. Like, give me your thoughts in the comments. See you later.